Alright, so Jay and I just got done shed hunting. It was a pretty quick hunt, but we put on some miles, so we're hungry. Um, it's the middle of winter, and one of my favorite winter meals is spaghetti. And being a hunter, obviously we love venison, so I'm going to make a homemade venison sauce. Um, I'm just going to go through the things we need. Obviously your ground venison. I got about a pound of it right here. I don't really measure it out, but I would say roughly a pound of ground venison. And every time I cook venison, I use Johnny's Hunter's Blend. It's uh, my all-time favorite seasoning for um, venison. I use it every time I cook venison pretty much. It's also great on any vegetables, mashed potatoes, or anything like that. So um, I highly recommend that stuff. I'll put a link to it below the video. Um, we are going to dice up one onion, um, dice up a green pepper. We got 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. 15 ounces of tomato sauce, um, 6 ounces of tomato paste, and then we are going to use about a teaspoon of basil, teaspoon of garlic salt, teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and 2 teaspoons of oregano. And as you can see, Jaden's going to help me out today and he's being silly as always. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to chop our onion, dice our green pepper, and then we also got, we're going to mince 4 cloves of garlic. Um, and then we're going to get the venison browning up in the pan along with the vegetables and garlic. So we're going to get going on that. Alright, so I had to take a brief intermission there. I was actually cutting this onion with this new knife I got for Christmas here. Um, it's the second time I used it. The first time I used it, I literally held it upside down like this and dropped a grapefruit over it. And it cut almost clean through the grapefruit. All I had to do was go like that. And the grapefruit fell on it. And I was thinking about how awesome this knife is, how sharp it is, and that I should tell you guys about it. And then I literally chopped almost the tip of my finger off. So I had to go bandage this up. But if you are looking for a really sharp knife, this is a Xylus. Um, I've never heard or used them before. I just got it for a Christmas gift. So I'll find a link to them, put it um, below. But just be careful because they are super sharp. This thing flew through that onion and then through the tip of my finger like it was nothing. So... I'm going to finish this onion up, get into uh, this green pepper, and I'm going to be a lot more careful than I was. So, let's get back to it. Alright, so we're going to get this ground venison going and then um, add in our vegetables. Alright, so now we got this meat starting to brown up. We're going to add our onions, Ew. green yeah. peppers, Ew. I don't like green ones. I like the other ones. Yum. Then we are going to, whoopsies, that was hot. Then we are going to add our, uh, garlic cloves into here. We're going to use four of them. I need to have one more. No, but put in uh, four at once. Alright, so now this is probably going to cook for about ten minutes until the meat is completely cooked and the vegetables are starting to uh, get a little bit translucent. Alright, so these have been going for about 10 minutes. The meat is done and the vegetables are starting to look tender. Um, so far my only regret is usually I like my spaghetti sauce a lot heavier on the meat. I took out a smaller package of um, ground venison. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's, it's a little bit heavier on the vegetables. But there's still plenty of meat in there. It's going to be good. So now 
Um, I back the heat off to low. I'm going to have Jaden help me dump in our um, 28 ounces of diced tomato. So buddy, can you put that in first? Remember, keep it low and go slow with it. Yeah, go ahead and scoot over. Just spilled a little bit. Now, now this is really loose, so you gotta be careful. Easier. He's now he's gonna add our 15 ounces of tomato sauce. So go ahead, put it right in the middle. Good job, buddy. All right. Well, this I'm gonna scoop out then our six ounces of tomato paste. So now we're gonna stir this in. Stop. <laughs> All right. So now, Jaden, stop it. All right. Now we have two teaspoons of oregano, a teaspoon of basil, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of garlic salt. So I need Jaden. Can you shake that up for us? Oh my goodness. I don't know why every time we turn that camera on, he gets crazy, but he sure does. So can you try to sprinkle this all throughout, Jaden? All throughout the sauce. Or just all of it right in the middle. That works too. Good job. We can stir it in. Yeah, we can. Pound it. Alright, so I got all of these spices in here now. I stirred it up good. Um, the longer you let it sit, the better. You can let it go for about an hour. The longer it sits, the more the tomato taste is going to come out. I'm probably going to let it sit for about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, stirring every once in a while. So once we get a little bit closer, I'm going to get the noodles going. And then we're going to have some spaghetti for dinner. Alright, so if you haven't figured this out by now, obviously I am no professional cook at all. I'm just a dude who loves to cook, when it, especially when it comes to a wild game that I've harvested. And I'm telling you right now, this is just smelling awesome. I cannot wait. Um, we're only at about 20 minutes. I'm going to let it go for another 10 or so, and then I'm going to put the noodles on. Um, and then when those are finished, I'm going to um, serve up spaghetti. Jaden's excited. He told me it smelled super good. He's watching a show right now, but um, I'm confident. I really like trying these things from scratch. I bet you this is going to be a whole lot better than any Prego or um, any other sauce you can buy from the store. So um, if you want to give us a try, this is just something I whipped up tonight. I've never really done it before, but it smells good. It looks good. Um, I can't wait to taste it. Alright, so it's been about 30 minutes that this has been uh, simmering on low. I just added these uh, noodles, we'll get them going, and then when they're finished, this should be about good. It's, oh, it smells so good, so um, once the noodles are done, Jay and I are going to give it a try. And then so the noodles are about finally done. Um, the sauce has been sitting, it smells so good. I had to take a taste, I took a spoonful of it, and it is amazing. Um, I let Jay and stay up way past his bedtime. I'm not going to tell his mom about it, but whatever. So uh, he helped me cook this. I'm going to call him in here. Um, we're going to have our bowl of spaghetti, but I'm going to um, drain these noodles through the strainer, um, get them in the bowls, and uh, serve the spaghetti up. So. Tapa, what do you think? Good. It's good? Spicy. I tried it. I think it's awesome. This you is uh, the best spaghetti sauce I've ever been. I don't think it's spicy. I think it's just probably hot for you. Like temperature hot, not spicy hot. Because I, you probably have a higher tolerance of spice than I do. Yeah. 